interview, I'm trying to get down with you. I need an interview, I'm trying to get down with you. I need an interview, I'm trying to get down with you. Get down with you, get down with you. I need an interview, I'm trying to get down with you. I need an interview, I'm trying to get down with you. I need an interview, I'm trying to get down with you. Yeah, get down with you. Yeah, get down with you. Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Let You Tell It podcast. I'm your host, Caesar. It's your boy, Bula. Go ahead and give the introduction. Hey, hey, man, we tapped in. We're at the uh, de- Demented demented Tattoo Spot with Pacoima's Finest, Richie from the Valley. Been going hard for a minute, you feel me? So now we finally get to sit, talk to the man. We've been seeing him out recently. We've been uh, talking, seeing each other. We've been seeing him make his moves. He sees us making ours, so now we're going to sit down and Tap in on some real valley shit, so how you feeling, my guy? Hey man, you know, we're right here with the homie Eels. Shout yeah. out, shout out Demented. Yeah, shout out Demented. Thank shout you for having us. The homie yeah. Eels is on a yeah, that man. was about to tap the homie. For, hey, when you see someone get down the park, I know. Like, fucking once he gave me the idea, I was like, fuck yeah, like let's do that. I even ran it by Buller, and Buller was just like, bro. What are we doing? This shit's dope as fuck. I was like, I'm down for a face tap. Fuck it. Let's <laughs> shit. shit on my forehead. <laughs> oh my god, that shit be dope. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. this shit's this shit's long overdue, man. And uh, man, I was just I, I've been going through you guys' page. Fuck, man, the amount of time that you guys been doing it, fucking putting in work, bro. Looking out, dog. Yeah, bro, shit, I mean, shit, you you've been putting you you've been putting in work for a minute, bro. I mean, even that video that we were talking about earlier with uh, you at uh, um, Paxton Park. I saw that psh, like years ago, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, you that know? was like 20, 2019. Mm. Yeah, shout out to homie Saco Lowe's too. I was up yeah. in there too, you know. Shout out to the gang. Yes, sir. But, like, shout you know, out to Saco. Yeah. But that's, that's crazy because that means you've been going hard for a minute too, though, bro. You know, putting yeah, it off for yeah, the yeah. valley in your own way and shit. Yeah, man. Trying to, you know, a uh, little, uh, been on and off for a little bit, but shit, we back on. Uh, shit, full force, you know. Shout Ooh. out Vani. Yeah, cause uh, shit, that boy been just pushing, bro. pushing it. You know, I think he's been going at what like ten plus years type shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. every interview, bro. Most a lot of interviews for sure. His name's coming up. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. For sure, hey, bro. if I make a face, don't fucking say it. I don't want to hear shit. <laughs> We're clipping right? the whole shit. This shit hurts. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. This shit hurts. All right, if anybody oh, fucking shit. ever told you a tattoo didn't hurt, they fucking lied to you. Yo, if you knew, if you use a number cream, you. Pussy. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. Relax. Nah, I'm not playing. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's get straight into it. Like we said, you've been fucking making hella noise lately. You just did the Ocho Cypher with Bankhead. Shit. Yeah, shout, shout out shout straight out, out the trunk, my shout boy. Out the trunk with it. How was that, bro? Like, uh, once you got the invitation to do that, like, whoa, what was your like process on that? Man, I mean, anytime they ask me to pop out, it's, it's just more excitement than sure. than anything. Uh yeah, cause I know they're they're gonna they're gonna gather a, a just talent. a good class, a sure. good exactly. Like when I popped up when uh, he first started doing the when the studio session, and when I when I pulled up on you, it was like yeah. like you're like the only like essay in there too, and I was like, yo, what's good? Like me, you know, I look at, like it, yeah, which, yeah, and I think that's dope, you know, because and spills and shout out, shout out, yeah, no, but, spills. no, but I'm talking about the 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 session before. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the first was just in the stoop, you know. Yeah, but shout yeah, out, yeah. you know, shout out the homies. But I'm saying like, Hell yeah. it's dope to see like you know like you're like. Someone that looks like you in a, in a room full of like people that are doing things, you feel me? Yeah, man. And like, I, I think that's the first time I met you, but it's crazy because I've been seeing your shit. I've been, we've been heard about you. No, well, we heard about him when he did a money showcase. The one in Ventura. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that's no, but I'm saying I heard about him the before. Green room. The that. green room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Green but room. I'm saying like he's crazy. even if he's been off and on, like you've been trying to do your thing. Yeah, hell yeah. We've been hey, you know what's too. crazy is that the last event was the green room, and then to uh, the. A1A day? The A1A day, the difference was, and, and it's not right. even that long apart, but just, just the whole, It's not, man, it's been like, what, like three, four months? How it's fast like this shit's months. growing? Yeah, bro. Like, three, four months, crazy. Three, four it's months. It's growing, dog. Like, uh, uh, it, I don't, I don't even think people realize how fast, like, what. Bro, I mean, I don't even think people understand, like, the foundation that, like, Straight Out to the Trunk is doing with that with the Cypher, bro. Like, Bro, that Cypher was so fucking he got crazy. He got some of the most heavy hitters, like, in the Valle, and people don't really even know. Bro. Like, they don't, bro. Last year's, yeah. last year's Cypher, or two years ago's Cypher, uh, he got B-Dot. 
Like, oh, beat out yeah. the guy. He, he's a legend from Pacoima, a fucking battle rapper. Man. Fucking Sh ripped that shit. I remember, I, bro, I remember he went on first. And then I was like, how the fuck am I supposed to follow up after that shit, dog? Oh, so like, you, you, this is the second time you've been like, on it? Yo, the second time you've been on it? Uh, I, I think this is my third cypher with uh, Straight Out the Trunk. Yeah. How you get linked up with, uh, with uh, Bankhead? Uh, so with Bankhead, I got linked up through Vani. Oh, okay. And then uh, through Vani, I got linked up with, uh, through my boy Gorilla, who was actually pretty much my manager for a little bit. Shout out Gorilla. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's, he's pushing his uh, clothing line too. Fucking. Yeah, man. We, we just all, all yeah. fucking trying to push it's crazy because i met bankhead through bonnie too at the green room yeah and, yes, and yeah. then uh, bankhead let me go to a comedy show and i thought, i remember that day my dad had a stroke and i still pulled up and so forth. it was amazing bro like the people i met through that day i still fuck with to this day and it's pushed open a bunch of doors for me you know yeah so yeah. i trip out like the love that it's in like people just linking with other people you feel me and then like yeah, right Keeping place, right time yeah, type yeah, no, shit. Yeah, that's exactly you know, what it is. Though. I just got fired from my job too, and I was like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna let this shit. I'm gonna let the bullery shit rip again." Because I was going out yeah. for like two, three years, took like a year off, and then I was like, "Nah, I'm back on my bullshit," you know. Like, and then that's when I started seeing like the eight really like come together, you know, type shit. And I was like, and I we kept, I kept telling, him, I'm like, "Bro, there's no way like that we're not gonna be a part of this shit." And, and I we, feel like now we're just fucking in deep. Bro, we're now, so bro. in deep though. No, it's not even funny, like. And like the, was, the relationships we built with like everybody already has just been like so dope and genuine, like with everybody you know from you to Sinama, Vani, Bankhead, Rugo, um, Rugo uh, PG. Skinny, PG, like Suchi, yeah. Suchi, like dog, like. The bro, list goes I'm, I'm on. texting everybody. I'm texting these fools on a daily, like just like chopping it up with these fools. I'm like, yeah. fuck, like I would have never thought I would have like a, a good friendship relationship. You're like with these people you know it's crazy and that's a big shout out to this guy right here like he put me in the right rooms with the right people and it's just like we try it's about, all it's, it's, it's all about it's so all about the network the yeah, yeah, sure. yeah you know getting getting in the right room with people and then those people you know get you in the, the but your the energy right. gotta be right though too yeah. i feel like um, yeah if you're not a pure soul like people could see that shit like no, hell yeah. that you that you're like just here to like bleach off shit but yeah. if you're here to put in like you hear like sacrifice, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you hear sacrifice some shit with us, we over here trying to do some shit, lay foundation. Hell I think yeah. people generally will fuck with you. Some last supper type yeah. shit, dog. <laughs> that was sick, yeah. man. I like that one. Right there. I like yeah, that dude. one. Hell yeah. We taking the Judas out the deck too, though. So fuck y'all, motherfuckers, and try to hide and slither <laughs> yeah. and shit. We mowing the grass, motherfucker. You feel yeah. me? Hey, but like, let's touch, let's touch on like how was it live, like growing up in Bukoima and shit. Shit, I mean, you know. Growing up in Pacoima, just I grew up skateboarding. That's that was that was my outlet. You know, that was that was what kind of kept me away from shit. Uh, getting into the gangs and getting into more of the the deeper shit. Yeah, just kind of. Uh, I mean, it still got me into a shitload of trouble, but just but, just kind of just steered me away from from. Getting deep, yeah, for sure. Getting, getting deep in, uh, into uh, being a product of my environment, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, just growing up skateboarding, fucking shit up, riding on walls, fucking, you know, as a youngin. And then uh, around high school is when I really started rapping. Like, I, actually, I, I started off beatboxing, so we... we oh, damn. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, we would all just go out. I had a homie who was a sick ass freestyler. A couple homies who would just freestyle, and so I learned how to beatbox. You know, I was lunch room, the lunch room table. Yeah, I was, I was, I was kind of always doing the background, like just hearing, hearing everybody freestyle. I didn't, I didn't have like the confidence, like oh shit, let me, you know, I can spit off the top. So I learned how to beatbox first, and then uh, eventually, like. The homies will put me on the spot, like when they'll get tired of rapping or I'll get tired of beatboxing, they'll they'll start switch, beatboxing. Like, switch, exactly. And then put me team. and then that's how like I got better at just like yeah. so yeah, I started off freestyling like just just straight yeah. cypher shit. Yeah. Literally just I think that's important to have when it, it comes to, to rapping because I feel like 
Well, when I was in school in Fulton, we would throw ciphers all day. Like, and then I remember I was I used to like do the little rapping, but I did the beatboxing too. You feel me? Because the yeah. same as you, I felt like I wasn't ready. But Those then, days, ah. bro, the, I'm Those telling you, it was days. like it was like they'll be like, yo, you have to battle this one now because this yeah. was more hard. And then I remember one time, some fool came with the actual like composition, like uh, composition book. Yeah. Oh and shit! And tried to like battle me, and I was like, "Bro, it's over. Like, don't ever do this again." You brought, <laughs> a, brought book? Out the whole you brought a knife Ryan to book? a gunfight, for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? But I mean, honestly, that's the dopest shit I think from the from, raw shit. Yeah, that yeah, that yeah. That's, that raw, rugged, fucking God, love it. You feel me? Yeah, that's that's like uh, going the the five elements you know the five elements of hip hop yeah break dancing uh, graffiti DJing Jane what we got that's what three that's MC MC what's the last one and breaking b breaking breaking b boying MC graffiti graffiti and, DJing. and DJing. Yeah. production yeah. beat beat making no, 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 beat, no, no. you I, said beatboxing it's, it's the b boy <laughs> breaking <laughs> MCing, DJing, graffiti. I think that's what it is. Because yeah. breaking and b boying are two different things. Yeah, hell, they are. Yeah. I you think we got it. If we the, didn't get it, then, you know. Correct us in the I'm comments. Fucking sorry. Correct us in the comments. Fuck yeah. it. You know, we'll, Someone we'll, gets a free plate if you get it right. Fuck stop it. trying <laughs> to give shit out, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, dog, fuck it. I'm Oprah. Like, you get a plate, you get a plate. <laughs> that's right. Everybody eats, B. Uh, hey, everybody yeah, that's is. true. I'll give you that. The I'll slogan. Give you that. Yeah. So then once you started, like, once they started putting you on the spot and you started actually rapping, how was it? Like, were you getting like a little nervous to something, or nah? You were just straight flowing off the beats. Um, yeah, hella nervous, but it was mostly just uh, it's just in the moment kind of thing, you know. When it's when it's that and the right energy, like you got you got a you got a good good circle of just yeah, good energy. And shit. Like shit just flows out, you know. You you're not really you're not really thinking too much about it. That shit just comes out. Yeah. Yeah. Freestyling is for sure an art, bro. Uh, lost art. Bro, that shit's man. so crazy. Motherfuckers yeah. be like, oh, you don't got, you got to pay me. And listen, and I respect that. But, like, I feel like if you really love the craft, like, freestyling for sure is something you got to have. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, maybe fucking 10% of cats who are making music can freestyle, like, can, can do a freestyle live. It's, it's very few. It's it's a yeah, like you said, it's a lost art, you know. Should maybe Definitely. We bring that shit back, huh? Shit, F- for real, shit. What I remember, shout out, shout out, Sako, man, that motherfucker. Yo, no, Sako. He's one of the hey, best freestylers that I know personally. Rap. I'm not gonna lie, this Sako low. Sick man. made the rapper. That motherfucker. Sick go look, go look him up, bro. And, and the shit that he be laying, like it's 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 yeah. it's actually pretty he's, nice. He's bro. he's one of the few cats that that can I can see get in the booth. And completely spit some shit off the top, oh. and like it sounds like oh, this nigga crazy. been re- reciting that crazy. shit for the last week. And now, yeah, that's crazy. You said it's dope because me, me, and you known him since like middle school type shit. So we know, and he's been rapping since a minute, bro. I yeah. used to hear him rap back in the days. Yeah, and like hopefully we get him. We yeah, get we him on the right track to, to rap, bro. Definitely, he. Uh, I'm trying to get him back in the mix. So we we got a bunch of shit coming out soon. Oh, me, yeah. me, me oh, and uh, Sick Made for sure. Oh. He be going yeah. hard for the Valley, too, in other ways, but he be going hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah hell man. yeah. Shout out to him, man, for sure. All right, hey, time- shout out Saco, man. This one gave me, like, fuck it, some filet me on the other day. It was shout like, out hey, Saco Stacos. Saco Stacos. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't, with me, every time I think of, like, uh, freestyling, it always takes me back to the basement days. Oh, where yeah. Every, yo, every first sh- and last Sunday of the month, rap battles at the basement, bro, it... If you know, you know. If you're a real Valley cat, you know about the basement on yeah, Ventura Boulevard, Damn, bro. Damn, youngster. How do you know about that, youngster? <laughs> That's I was crazy. with you, motherfucker. <laughs> bro, those bro. were the fucking days. Like, yeah. the basement every last and first yeah. Sunday of the month. That's where I that's where I, I met Self-Provoke for the first time. Because that motherfucker was yeah, always there, bro. Off. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. Man, the basement is for sure a staple for anybody doing graffiti in the valley bro yeah anybody doing graffiti in the valley is a staple like they used to have records damn what was that fool's name the white boy i forgot i know i I remember the i remember the female owner too huh rock rock yeah i think it's rock the white boy right with the glasses oh no the owner i think it was rock or something no the the because there was 
Because there was the old basement and it, it, it switched. Oh, yeah. And they painted the, the Atlas painted the, the basement. I remember it was green. I want black and green. There was because there was the, the beginning, it was a it was a white boy with glasses and then you always show love. And then it switched up and it turned like newer and they got Atlas to do the basement on the on Oh the and that's when there was a female some female was yeah, running yeah, there too. Yeah, 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 I remember that one. Yeah. yeah and right. then um so that's when they started doing the freestyles there and I remember we went, I think Rain Rain uh five toes going up or whatever, the homie. And as we went to go support him, Shout bro. Shout out Rain. Shout out Rain. And then full Azura Rest in Peace was there. He would always show up, right? From NHD. And then I remember uh I went with my homie Axor, you know, the gang was there. It was Rain, me, Axor, I forget who else was there from the from the crew. And dog, uh, I remember this where Axor see somebody he don't like, bro. And then we're like, yeah, you know, chuck it up, whatever. We hit the we hit the alley. But full stock, cause we're deep and the fool came by himself that we're gonna hop him. Yeah. So the whole basement is following us to the thing by the hop us, <laughs> thinking that we're gonna hop him. Oh shit. But it's me and the homie, we have skateboards. I'm like, I'm launching, I'm chucking <laughs> this shit. I'm taking two, three motherfuckers with me before I go down with this skateboard. That shit but like then once they see that, we let we let them oh, the hell is <laughs> crazy, bro. Yo, hey, hey new you ever been life is the helicopter. Hey, yo, have you ever been to a fucking ska show and you seen a motherfucker <laughs> swinging skateboards like a helicopter? You know what I'm talking about, man. Yo, that's wild. <laughs> yo. And then when we hit the alley and they see that we let them chuck them one on one, everyone's like, oh, I thought y'all were jumping them. Like, no, nah, you let them run the fair one. And I remember Azure like giving us props and shit, and I think. That shit that forever lives in my heart, you know, because R.I.P. Azura and shit. But I used to see him down the two, the two twenty three or the two thirty three, the one the two thirty three, two thirty three, the one that goes down Bad Nines and like that's yeah. that's my childhood, bro. Like hitting the two thirty three, going on a basement type yeah. shit. One you know, bus, the, one bus there, one bus to get back to the crib, bro. That bro. shit was. I mean, Groove Riders was right there too. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Groove I Riders. That. I remember I opened up an OTR like ink thing, like a fucking marker. I went like this, and it spilled all over Fuck. the shit. <laughs> this one gets the marker, chucks it at me, like get the fuck out. <laughs> so old white dude with like white hair like kind of bald and shit he's like get the fuck out and I was like fuck I go to the basement I'm like can I wash my hands Damn. <laughs> the basement always was a home for sure that I remember shit. when they closed it that shit fucking was heartbreaking on that one bro I mean even talking about it right now it's you ever hit the basement Richie? the basement? yeah yeah, yeah. I, I'm telling you I, I remember going there one time not for like the ciphers or anything, but I do remember taking the bus over there once. I, like when I first started riding, yeah. uh, I went, got a fat ass OTR, mm -hmm. the one you're talking about with the fat ass fucking yeah, yeah, the tip. Chisel, chisel tip. Yeah. Pause. And then a couple streaks. Because uh, it was farther from Pacoima and shit like that. Because I lived like Panorama Van Nuys, so it was like right there. Yeah, it was just yeah, one bus. I, all I remember is all the businesses right there had like fucking uh, glass eater fucking tags all Shh, over bro, them. Like, fuck it. For real, that glass bro. eater shit's been even coming back too. I it feel started like. to come back. Hell yeah. The show. Like, I went down uh, the other day when he was getting tatted by the homegirl. We went, I was going down uh, fucking Chinatown and all that shit's all fucking hit up to a glass here, bro. Like to top to bottom shit. Yeah. Like on some Echo shit, like the game. You remember the fucking uh, Echo? Yeah, I missed Marcus that. Marcus was getting up? Yeah. That was one of my favorite games. Damn. Oh, wow. That was yeah. a great That's game. A That's a throwback. For the Xbox, bro. Hell yeah, train. Train. Uh, SFC train. still free crew. That's crazy. <laughs> That shit was a classic. Damn, bro. I miss having no responsibilities, dog. For fuck, this, hey, this adult shit's ghetto as fuck. <laughs> Being an adult sucks sometimes, bro. Oh, fuck, you gotta do it. Kid. But let's get back to this music, though. Like, what, what do you think other than like the beat, like the the beat, the beat making and stuff like that, the beatboxing, like, like, got you in? Was it your homies? Was it you just had something in you? Like, yo, I need to spit some shit. Um, I mean, early on. I grew up on a lot of West Coast, on a lot of West Coast shit, so my older brothers, I got two older brothers, I'm the youngest of five. Oh shit, okay. So, so yeah, all, all my brothers and sisters are like, they, they're they generations be yeah, they before. They put you on some game. They, yeah, yeah, so I, I, I grew up pretty blessed as far as like, shit, I was, I was growing up listening to, you know, of course, Tupac, fucking, but, but the crazy shit is that. Biggie Wu Tang was not a common, common thing in my, my for you, household. For your, yeah, because yeah, just because my brothers, 
being from this side, yeah. like nah, fuck West all. Coast is fuck. That at their time, that West Coast East Coast shit was, was real. Was, that feud was real. So they're like, nah, fuck that. It's West Side LA, fucking mm. living, dying in LA type shit, yeah. you know. So anytime they heard me, because when I started skating, I was listening to Wu Tang and I was listening to Biggie. And they're like, nah, G, like that's, that, not, that, the way. that's not it. Yeah, listen to this shit, Bubba, you know. Wu Tang is fucking the, the children. Yeah, all. yeah. Cream, and I mean, now now they fuck with it, but it was, it was just in that in that time, you know. It was just like, nah, you're not listening to that shit, dog. So they put me on hella above the law, fucking, you know. Real West Coast shit. Yeah, real, yeah, real, real. That's what that's real game banging music. Cause that's oh, what the fuck that shit was. Law, yeah. Bro? Yeah. That's what it was, bro. Yeah. Real, real heavy you, synthesizers. Yeah. Dr. Real. Dre, all that shit. Snoop Dogg. Yeah. Nate Dogg. DJ Quick. All that shit. Love but that uh, shit. It, it wasn't until, you know, I got I got deeper into the, the East Coast. Hip hop, that boom bap shit. Real boom bap shit. Yeah. That's, that's where I really got inspired. Like, I'm not going to lie. I love West Coast music. I'm, mm. I'm hella inspired by, you know, Snoop Dogg, N- Nate Dogg, the hook master, fucking Crazy. Tupac. Like, all that shit, bro. But as far as lyricism and flow, I, I look up to a lot of East Coast cats. Big L, Big Pun, you know. Uh, shit, the list, the list could go on, bro. Yeah, hell go yeah, you got Method day. Man, you got Method Man, you shit. got fucking Red the RZA, the Jizzle, you know yeah. what I mean? Them motherfuckers. Is, I mean, Joy Badass to me, I like that. Bro, I remember was like the New York, the shit that I was listening to. And I got to see <laughs> Joy Badass at Same. P. Dues. Oh, no, I didn't yeah. I was like, fucking what, like 9, 16, 17, bro? And this fool has fools in LA screaming out Brooklyn. Like, yeah. Crazy, bro. Yeah. And but Joy, to me, Joy, it didn't even feel it felt crazy, bro. Like 1999, uh, like classic album for Joey me. Joey Badass is my age, bro. Oh. We, we, we were born the same year. Yeah, I'm 95, so. too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, 95, baby. You know what I mean? That's Come right, on, gang. Last of a dying breed, G. Right, ah, 96. <laughs> 96. I'm a fucking year. Yeah, you good, you no, good. My you good. close bad. enough, dog. Fucking oh, shit. You're good, bro. <laughs> hey, dog. I'm born in October. For a couple, a couple yeah, months, yeah. a couple months later, I would have been 96 yeah. too. But, but you got lucky enough to be. Such a ass of a truck. Yeah. Uh, hey, no, but I think New York music too, for sure, has a lot of um, has a lot of influence on us. I feel like, especially yeah. when we're skating. Like, bro. Yeah, just the beats was just the vibe. Bro. Crazy. Just the vibe. Alchemist, man. Like. Alchemist was, and then man, man, when that Alchemist started doing like that, that little like uh, with Nor- Nori and shit, when oh, they thought, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, like that shit is legendary, bro. You understand the shit? You know, like. A lot of people don't really like know about hold that. Hold you down. You know, yeah, like bro. crazy, bro. Alchemist. Wallin', bro. This man is a blessing, bro, and it's a living legend, dog. And you know what's crazy? If you look back to his old shit, you'll realize, like, yo, that was him on that verse. Yeah, yeah. He but he did a lot. But he didn't like give himself a feature, like, oh, featuring myself. You feel me? He mm. always just took the producer tag, like, oh, yeah. produced by yeah, Alchemist. Alchemist. But Alchemist. if he threw a feature on it, it was never like featuring Alchemist on the facts. facts. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was like. So many songs that I knew the fucking lyrics for yeah. word for word, and I didn't even know it was, it was fucking him. Alchemist. Because yeah. his voice was different. Like I feel like you couldn't even tell it was him. It's crazy because shout out to homie Jesse from Born and Race, but I remember on like my second or no my second Sandy Hawkins dance. I'm taking a picture, like a group picture, and then Alchemist photo bombs us, like in the cut. No fucking yeah. way. Bro. And I was like, that has to be the greatest photo bomb of my life. Fuck bro. yeah. And then I went up to him and said, Yo, for I like. Cool as dude. He's like, thanks, man. I appreciate y'all. I'm just not going to fan out, but like, I just yeah, want to yeah. shake your hand. Cool shit, bro. Amazing person, That's bro. Dope. If I can leave like at least half of the legacy he's leaving, psh, it would be crazy. Hell yeah. yeah. He's for sure vital in the game, bro. Man. What, what are your top three like East Coast rappers or like groups? Groups? Groups or rappers? Like, give me your top three. Uh, At the moment or all time? All time. All time. We're going to do all time. Shit, man. All time, East Coast. That's hard, bro. Yeah, yeah man. You put you're, you're putting you just me. Put that you're putting me on the spot. Right? <laughs> God, Cause look, cause look, hear me out. That's not my roots, right? Uh, okay. But but shit, from my from my perspective, from my point of view, Big L. 
Okay, yeah. yeah. That, that's that's like my second right yeah. there. Yeah, for sure. Big up. Big pun. Oh, Big pun. Okay. Top. And I know what you, I think I know what you're gonna say for the third one. I don't want to say another big. I like. I, look, I love Biggie, dog. But I would, I would say the wood. <laughs> I, I would put the wood up there. If I was in that list. Well, my, well, my top three on the on the East Coast would be like three would be the wood, two would be Big Al, and then one would be M. See, it's because three is too low. You, then you got most deaf. You got mm. Talib Kweli. Yeah. You got, you got fucking Mortal Technique coming out of Harlem. Yeah, you, like, yeah. you got this is crazy Big star. Bro. You got Dude, Harlem fucking, Streets. You got Prodigy. <laughs> Prodigy, right. crazy, bro. You just open Pandora's box. Yeah, it's, it's three is, 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 it's not enough. It's not a lot of room. Yeah, it's not enough. Nah, you need, uh, not even you. a fucking five, bro. <laughs> not even a fucking five. Yeah, it's tough, man. That shit is crazy. I mean, but Flatbush that, Zombies, you, you guys were bumping that shit? Yeah, I was, still I was bumping, bumping that. Yeah. The Underachievers, the, those were the hardest ones, yeah. too. I seen, I seen Underachievers perform live with a, a smoker, smoker Slip tour. Oh, no way. Yeah. Which uh, one? It was like... 2017. The one at Long Beach? To, it was at the the Novo. Oh, what? okay. I went to the Smokers this Club. This 2013, actually. Oh, not okay. 17. I think I went to I went to the Smokers Club in Long Beach. I think that was like 2016, 2017, some shit like okay. that. Right there at the Queen Mary. Oh shit! Yeah, so Long that, Beach. Sh- that shit was. It was a two day fest. I saw. Oh, Wiz oh, did a uh, Cushion Orange Juice. Uh, I seen Mac Miller there, Kid Cudi, Damn. Damn, Dom Kennedy. Rest I, in peace, bro. bro that's that, another. Their lineup was so fucking crazy, bro. Like, I, I think s- that's like when Shoreline was blowing up. Then they they were out there. Uh, fuck, bro. Like, oh, um, Isaiah Rashad. Isaiah Damn. Rashad when he first started blowing up with TD, yeah. bro. That shit. That that was probably like one of my best festivals I ever went to. Just cause that lineup was just fucking insane, bro. Like that shit was like I got to see Mac Miller, you know. Oh, wow. Schoolboy Q was there. It's funny yeah. cause okay, it was the Smokers Club. Schoolboy yeah. Q's there, and he's like telling the fans like, "Oh, what do you want to hear?" He's like, "Nobody say Ben, I got some weed." I understand we're at a fucking Smokers event. I'm not doing yeah. that fucking song. That shit was. I mean, honest, it was like one of the burnt out songs. But yeah, and then but he that shit was put him on though. Yeah, and that's uh, the first song I ever heard by Schoolboy was "Bet I Got Some Weed." <laughs> Well, I think I started doing these tactics because of fucking schoolboy. Because he's just talking about fucking slanging that shit. I started slanging it. And then, you know, you start seeing the shit that comes with you. You're like, oh, this happens all the time. Yeah, yeah, you, broke, you broke one of Biggie's rules, bro. I know I got high on supply. Never that. Damn. No, I remember but one. you know what was my downfall? A bitch. She showed me some shit on Zan. I was like, I'm pretty sure that's another one of the rules. <laughs> Don't act. Fuck a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it has Bye to be no, but even, yeah, even for that festival Schoolboy Q fuck. was all like Alright y'all need to hurry the fuck up Because I'm trying to see Wiz Perform Cushion Orange Juice Like Ooh. that's a legendary that's album crazy. Right there bro I see, oh, yeah. I see Wiz uh, I think either Pay Deuce or Rock the Bells Do Cabin Fever Crazy oh, yeah. Crazy And he did phone numbers Fuck. Oh, I really? saw Currency there too at, at the Smoker Club. That's another one. Yeah, Curse I saw Currency. Was a Curse. Too, bro. Currency on the fucking that piff shit and, yeah. and all that the mixtape turn shit. Yeah. Dropping album yeah. after album. And fool, my my computer had like thirty viruses because of that motherfucker right there. I <laughs> swear to God, <laughs> hard shit, bro. Like, cur- I seen Currency at the observatory and I think we smoked an ounce and the girl in front of us passed on. I think it was because of us. Nice. Because we're smoking so much. That's fucking you're a piece of shit, bro. Nah, but like currency, like put the light on her. He's like, yo, stop the whole show, gentlemen, bro. That was That's that right. was like the like if I if I had to choose like someone I don't know, like yo, this fool's probably a good guy. That fool right there. Yeah, hell yeah. You seen what he's been on lately? He's he's been burnt uh, building fucking the, the race car yes, like little the fucking uh, hot wheels, wheels hot and wheels putting track. money on that shit. Yeah, the hummers. I was yeah. I was, I was yeah. scrolling through Instagram. And then I seen some dude playing with some fucking Hot Wheels. And I was like, that shit looks like fun. It's currency. And I'm like, wait, is that fucking currency, <laughs> dog? <a> crazy. <laughs> For when he was doing like cruise life, he was doing like the his cruise, uh, his uh, his uh, car club. Yeah. They were doing that at Willie. Living the oh, fucking right? dream, yeah, bro. Yeah, they were doing like, that at Willie, bro. Like, That's so my this... fucking dream, nigga. Like, I'm just trying to fucking make some money off music and I can fucking build my car collection, bro. <laughs> That's li- like literally it, And bro. then put That's them all in the fucking it. Hot Wheel scale size. That'd be crazy, bro. That'd be fucking insane, right? Bro, that, that that man, that man for sure has put in a lot of work because he's seen like shit with Young Money, because that's where he, like Lil Wayne put that for on in a way, and then he kind of seen 
okay, if I go this route, this could happen. And he just kept it his own shit. And yeah. look, look, look at him, like how, how it's benefited him just making his own lane and making his own music. Well, one thing about currency and that type of uh, recipe is a consistency. That's mm -hmm. one thing he had. Every month for a, a tape, whole year. A tape. For a, a whole year, he was dropping an album like every month. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't remember what year exactly it was, but I know for a every couple years, month probably, he dropped bro. like one or two tapes, and it kind of went unnoticed. But at the same time, like shit, ages like fucking wine, you know? Yeah, of course. You go yeah. back and listen to it, it's like, damn, yeah, this. He's he's one of them like sleeping giants. Like he's never gonna really. Fade away, he, or he has, when he when he comes back out, it's 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 like it's oh all love. shit, it's yeah, all still it's, love. Yeah, 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 it's like oh shit, he dropped and another that's one. all the he, he just has like a cult like following. And I remember we were talking about evidence before um before we got on the mic, and I feel like he has the same the same type of like uh, uh cult like following. Like bro, he'll drop pictures because he's a photographer. Because his mom was rest in peace was a photographer. Boom, he drops something, people fuck with it. He drops a shirt, so, sells out. He does a show at the Roxy, bro, so, sold out. Like, yeah, yeah, he just yeah. has that like core fan base that like will rock with this movie because he's been doing it for almost like ten years plus. Yeah, type shit. So yeah, so, hell yeah. Consistency for sure is the word of the day. Yeah, hell yeah, that is consistency. Yeah. Word bro. of the day. You consistency. Because we try to do that, bro. We was doing five interviews a week, and then like after like. A month or two, I was like, Fool, what could, else can we say? We took like a week off, and then it kind of even fucked us up because we started getting like, ah, uh, like, ugh. Like, overthinking shit? Yeah. Not overthinking shit, but it's like, do you really want to do it? Because we have shit in, we have shit in like, in the clip. Right. But it's like, you have to work, like, you don't even have that shit, though. Exactly. Like, you don't even have shit to release. Like, shit, tomorrow, if I don't make it, I don't pay rent. Type shit. Like, we're uh, back yeah. on it. And that's we, that's we, what yeah. I seen you fools been on. Been on. Uh, yeah. You fools been been low in the yeah, clip. And we've been slacking though. But I'm saying, but like that's, when that's all people right. people were like, people were like, man, fool, you fools post that you're interviewing fools like for five days straight. And I'm like, yeah, dog. But but then again, like I said, you, even if you have like 20 rounds in the clip, you have to work like you don't have that though. Yeah. Because yeah. you will fall off. You will fuck off. You know. Yeah, we're actually doing that this week. We're recording from Wednesday to Sunday. We're getting back on our shit, you know? Because, uh, yeah, yeah it was cool. I mean, the weekend was fucking amazing. Yeah, bro. We, oh my Crazy, God, bro. bro. Shout out Vonnie. Shout out No Gift Shop. Shout out everybody that made that shit possible. Shout out Skinny's. Yeah, shout out uh, Wanna Smash, all that, you know? Like, shout out all the people, all the vendors type shit, you know? Like, but, like, yeah, it's funny games that, like, turning up, but, like, I'm over that shit. I need to come and grind more. That's what I told him. I was like, yeah. look, this weekend, we're going to have our fun. As soon as the weekend's done, we back on our shit. We're going back to five interviews a week. We're going back to fucking just nonstop posting, 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 yeah. posting. Fuck all that shit. Because it's just all like, that bag's not just going to walk to us. We got to go not. chase that shit. You know, what we're trying to get to is not just going to fucking come our way. You got to work for everything. Hey, yeah, get what I get is good. Exactly. That's mm. what I was telling him. I was just like, look. We'll have our good little weekend. Once the weekend's done, we're back on grind mode. We got to get that shit going, going, going. That's just the way it is right now, you know? Like, we just yeah, got to, you got to put in that work because if you don't, somebody else is, and they're going to be taking your shit. It, like, it's like I said, there's money out there to be made. If you ain't making it, somebody else is. They ain't yeah. going to give you that shit, bro. Exactly. You what you get getting tired of, huh? Shit, I'm getting some, uh, some shells over here. Shit. Oh, all right. <laughs> Smoking. Oh, man, Smoking, that's just coming out shit. clean right there. Yeah, that shit hurts. I'm trying not to make. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to ask, though. Hey, I no, didn't want to ask. Chatting and podcasting at the same time is an art, <laughs> and I think this man's one of the few in there, <laughs> if not the only one. I'm not gonna lie, that shit hurts. But uh, he's he, getting a face tattoo right after. He has got the yeah, fucking right. the the fucking hand of a the, feather. The, uh, the what sleight of hands? Slide yeah, of he's, hands? he's got the sleight of hand. Oh shit! Yeah, tap in <laughs> eels tattoos. Yeah, eels tap tattoos, in, man. He, he gonna hop on a pod next too, man. Shit. But um, but how how you how you with music right now? Are you dropping anything? Are you working on anything right now? Yeah, man. I'm I'm working on a lot right now. I just dropped on a uh, eight one eight. It's a. Uh, I just dropped a single called Def Jam featuring Vonnie Ocho. Go check that shit out. It's oh, all right, for it. sure. Y'all okay. y'all heard it here. Okay. It's it's uh it's it's on all streaming platforms right now. Produced by the homie Omni. Um why does he sound so familiar? Omni. Om, Om, Omnivirus. 
That name does sound familiar. It sounds familiar. Did yeah, you do man. a lot of work for the Valley? Um, he's from the Valley? Or? I feel like I just heard that name before. Yeah, he's 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 definitely from the area. He's uh, actually got tapped in with him through the homie Sealess, which is another great producer slash DJ slash yeah. MC. And uh, yeah, man, he's just been plugging me in with hella hella sounds, you know. And uh, I was lucky to come across that beat. And fucking made something happen with it, bro. Yeah, you guys go check that shit out. The visual's coming real soon. That, that shit's gonna be sick. I wanna get back into the Ocho Cypher. Uh, so, I mean, you were on it. That shit was crazy. The video shoot, too. That shit was crazy. That little spot we were at. I fucking yeah. missed it. I missed it, but like, I was there in spirit. <laughs> Everybody's asking for you, for you, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where the fuck I didn't even, I didn't even have to say that shit But like, <laughs> bro, trust me Like, cause he called me But I was at the c I was at Laughlin And I was smacking him Shout out Laughlin I was smacking him But I went I like I just felt like I needed like a Like Time away from the city, bro Like, you know Shit gets too much Shit gets too much But like, I wish I was there, bro Cause I seen all, Basically the homies that Even if me and you just met I was like, okay yeah. Seeing PG I seen fucking skinny and that's another thing too like i i remember when i i would always see skinny uh at the barber shop and i'm like what the fuck is you doing bro like let's get on this shit you know yeah. bro because he's i feel like he's one of like top dogs for showing the valley nah. i remember him having billboards you know on woodley and shit like that hell yeah and like i like i always like listen to his music and then i finally met him through mutual friends you know shout out to home sammy and bro like now look at us bro like look at the shit that we're building it's crazy yeah. you know how i was talking about the skate park earlier yeah i actually heard of skinny millions through one of the homies at the skate park shout out baby cholo there you, you go know? uh yeah he, right he, here he was he was always talking about hey the, the homies the homie skinny you know he's 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 him yeah. he's yeah. next type shit and this was fuck bro this this was a while ago you know so skin yes shout out skinny skinny's been putting that goes to show you though how long yeah how long he's been doing yeah and and, uh, that's what a lot of people don't see you know like what they see is the tip of the iceberg like once once a motherfucker makes it once once he's popping but they don't see like how how much work how much money how How many years how many years years, sweat tears all that it's not months bro and if you make it in months dog you probably won't last in the game bro yeah. And if you do, hey, bless you, you know, because we ain't on knock. Nobody's awesome, but yeah, it's like yeah. years. Anything, tattooing to haircuts to fucking graffiti to making food. I have, what, like 12 years in the game making food, bro. The homie, what, uh, Eos has, what, seven, eight years in the fuck tattoo game type yeah. shit. You even have a couple years in the rapping game, too. Like, it's not it's not no overnight shit, bro. Like, it's not, mother- bro. motherfuckers just want to be like, oh, like, look at this fool. He just made it. It's like, nah, fool. Yeah. I, I fucking blood, sweat, and tears. I sacrifice shit that you don't even know. Miss birthdays, like miss shit that I was wanted to go to and for because I had to put in this work. Hell uh, yeah, you know. And like, I just feel like people will just see you winning, and then they're like, "Oh, I fuck with you on that." But yeah, you won't fuck with me when I have shit. Yeah, though. yeah. They, they was they was halfway no fucking yeah, with you. Yeah. They didn't believe in your shit, you know, all the way. They'll yeah. be like, "Oh, just go, you know, go get a regular job." I was like, "Yo, fuck that shit." I feel like. I, we're meant for bigger and better yeah, things than bro, I've tried. I, nine to five, trust bro. me, fool, I've tried to. I've worked every job you can think of security, gardener, fucking all that bullshit. And yeah. I just can't, dog. And I fucking can't because I feel like I have a higher calling in my soul, dog. Like, no, that's dog. right. You no, know? that's, that's Follow facts. Follow that right there, shit, bro. dog. Mm-hmm. Like right oh, now, yeah. like right now, I feel like, well, how do you feel with music, fool? Do you feel like even if, how long have you been putting in work? Do you feel. Like you're content with what you're doing? Do you feel like oh, like I'm, I should just hang it up, or you know, I mean, like shit? I'm, I'm, I'm about to be 29 this year. You know, I'm about to be 29 next, not next two month, months, two months, two months. I'm about to be 29. So I always had this plan, like shit. Once I hit 30, like that's a wrap. You know, I'm always gonna make music for the love of it, cause that's what I do. But shit, I might not try to be put put money behind it and trying to get it out like that like but but you in this shit why not go hard yeah while while i'm here you yeah know? exactly while i'm here 
uh, I got a lot of work to do, dog. That's that's about it. I I, I wasted a lot of time, so I, I got a lot of catching up to do. I don't I don't think you waste a lot of time. I think you learn. I, I mean, exactly. I feel like I waste a lot of time, but I feel like we just hard on ourselves. But not it's a learning we, process, yeah, definitely. Sure. And if you if you weren't going through life, what would you rap about? If you were like literally in a in a box, like safe from everything, what would you? What experiences yeah. would you have? Shit. Nothing, bro. Yeah, I, you know exactly. Like you have to fucking eat shit, bro, and to be able to even talk to some certain people, like Facts. to know what that shit is to hit rock bottom, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Hundred so, percent. Keep going, bro. Fuck that. Yeah, Make it, bro. For you could be thirty five. For we could be thirty five and we blow up. And we blow the fuck up, bro. Imagine it takes yeah. us 10 years to make the value into some shit. Fuck it. I'll work those 10 years. Bro. I would too. Hell yeah. yeah. If, that, if that's what it's going to take, fuck, fuck yeah, it, bro. bro. Like I, I put in a year of work for somebody and I did the most and got fired uh, the first time I said no. I said, fuck that. For never again, bro. I'd rather just do it myself. I could be broke as fuck, fool, but I know I'm working for myself for a certain fucking goal, dog. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. Fuck that shit, 100%. Bro. For someone to tell, for another man to tell you, like, yeah, fuck, like, you're gone. It's like I just gave you. I've just gave my life to A whole this year fucking of my spot. Life, yeah. yeah, you know, like, yeah, hell that, yeah. Bro. Can't go back to that shit, bro. Never that. Never, and how never. do you feel about support? Like, how, 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 like how you were talking about earlier? Like, you're trying to find out who you, who the product is to sell to, who's buying type shit. Yeah. So that's. I mean, I feel like that's my major obstacle right now is. Figuring out who's buying, you know, where to set up shop at, what 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 price to set it at, you know, yeah. who who, how am I gonna get this shit selling like fucking like hot cakes? Hot cakes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Lemonade in the summer. What's the recipe? Baby. What's the recipe type yeah, shit? Because yeah. there is a formula for so, sure. There, yeah. So yeah, we just gotta figure that shit out. And there's definitely supporters out there. Shout out. Everybody who's been supporting the past, bro, you have a good the following, past bro. years. Hell yeah, yeah man, I got I got none but but love from everybody who yeah. who I've encountered these past. You know, you guys being a part of that too. You know, yeah. so I mean, it's just it's just finding the recipe, man. Just 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 figuring out how to package that shit and fucking flip it. Facts, bro. Hell yeah, hundred percent on that one. And then just like we were talking about earlier too, like. Uh, uh, I feel like even if we haven't known each other for a long time, but we know our intentions, you can feel it. Like you know, we just came here to do our thing, or like trying to level people up. And look, we're not making me, we're not making no fatty off each other type shit. But you know what we are doing? We're, we're putting a platform for each other. Hell yeah, yeah. Your no people doubt. fucking with my people, my exactly. people fucking with your people. Cross you know? network. Fuck yeah, fool. That's what it's about nowadays. Just all networking. You know, no matter where you go, you could just be going to have breakfast. I just meet that right person and just be networking, you know? Like, yeah. That's, that's all it is. fucking know, dog. Hell yeah. yeah. It's like we were saying earlier, like this weekend, for a a weekend, we gave out 500 stickers. We went through 500 fucking stickers. Yeah. So, and have, I don't even know where a lot of them went because we were at one point we were drunk. But we were just, <laughs> we were handing out stickers like, hey, I got a podcast. Like, here it is. Like, oh, just yeah. look up that name on Instagram oh, and you'll find us. You know what oh. I'm saying? Like. And it's not even like about like the shout money. out skinny skinnies and shout out Archie's because yeah. I, I know we went there. Yeah, I don't know Saturday, who I met, yeah. but shout out to y'all. Yeah, yeah, but like it's like at the end of it, it's not even like about the money or nothing like that. It's just about networking and meeting the right people because it only takes that one person you meet and that could help you set everything off. Yeah. At that point, but you it know? has to be genuine though. No, of like, course. there's it, no way. No, yeah, no, everything you know, nowadays has to be genuine. Yeah. Like you can't just fucking force yourself into a room. That mm -hmm. you're not welcome in yet. You gotta fucking work your way in there, shit, bro. Yeah, yeah you. Yeah. Shit. Like, cause that's how I I feel right now. Like, I've been getting um, invited into rooms that I really never thought I would have been in in my past uh, situation in the podcast. You know, like, and that's really a like a lot to thanks to Buller. But like, I even when I get invited to these rooms, I'm there. Like you said, absorbing the energy, fly being on the that wall. fly on the wall until they start interacting with me. Then I'm like, oh, okay, you know, like well, this is who I am. You know, yeah, I'm going to show yeah, you yeah. my true side and I'm going to show you who I am from the jump. You know, like I'm not I'm not the type to like sh put up a, a, a front. And then when you really get to know me, you'll be like, damn, you know, thing like you, you showed me before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's just like it's networking and just being true to yourself at the end of the day. Exactly. Because it's just there's too many fake people out here. There's too many people trying to make it make something that they're not. And it's fine. You know, like 
If that's what you're gonna do to blow up, then fuck it. Do what you gotta do, but don't fuck that you're something that you're not. Exactly. Because at the end of it, what what's happens in the dark comes to the comes light. Yeah, so fucking light. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I finally dropped the oh, bar on this oh, bitch, bro. Shit. The bar. Oh, oh shit. Yo. <laughs> no, but like that's a bar, bars, bro. bro I I I'm like like I said, being in certain rooms and like looking at like different perspectives already. I've seen the way that people are. Like I seen. How some people really are like they're 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 from the struggle, you know. They've they fucking never had nothing to eat, you know. Like as a kid, or you know, there's days where you know starving because I went through shit like that. And then I see people who always had that golden spoon in their mouth that try to act like they were from the ghetto or that try to act like they were part of like the like you know that they were a diamond in a rough. And like it's okay to be that person with a silver spoon. Yeah. There's there, there's nothing wrong with it. At the end of it, fuck it. That's the lifestyle you live. But don't yeah. try to flaunt like you're something that you're not. Yeah. Because at the yeah, end of it, top. like it's just I'll like, well, what's the point? You're doing it to fit in. And at yeah, the end of it, once we shit. find out, we're gonna just not fuck with you because we're gonna see that you're not the person that you said you were. Mm-hmm. That's the way. And I've been seeing it a lot with like a lot of people. Like when it comes down to everything, I, I've been everybody seeing it a want, lot. Everybody want to be talking about selling drugs. Everybody want to be talking yeah, about they're about killing people. Yeah. Everybody want to be talking about they're from this and from that. But it's like, but dog, that's the energy you, you're putting out. If, though. if exactly. you're not really doing that, then that's okay. You know, just talk about what you're doing. Exactly. Like, there's nothing Why wrong. You about gotta it? kill motherfuckers, bro. Yeah, Shit, man. motherfuckers die by themselves is enough. But I'm saying, like, it. I mean, even if you are and you're rapping about it, like that's wild. But I feel like that's the culture now. Like motherfuckers yeah. be on live, like yo, well, I'm on your block. But that's, da, da, da. that's that's why that's why it gets it gets tricky, right? Because because yeah. like you said, that's the culture. But it's because I feel like the ones that are really popping really are doing that. Yeah. You know, so then these youngins look up to them. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I want to do that too. And whether they're doing it or not, they start talking about it or. Yeah. It's just a cycle, you know. Like is, we, yeah. we, sure. we look up to somebody, then we start doing shit, mm-hmm. and, and then, then we we the look next at gen, we once it's too it. late. We look, we're like, damn, that they weren't shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. That's, why, yeah, that's why you don't gotta have no big homies. Just be your own yeah. homie, dog. Man, big homies are burnt these days, bro. Like, I, I, I mean, I don't want to get too political, but I don't see a lot of youth being led the right way. The right man. way. No, yeah, no, that's a hundred percent. We were just talking them, about bro. this shit today. I told him, I was like. Yeah. I was like, yo, falls like, you never know. Like, what if, like, in a year or two when we're doing this shit, a uh, little 16, 15 year old kid comes up to so us, like, yo, I've been watching y'all, like, and I started doing this and this because of y'all. And it's, it, he's like, oh, imagine. I'm like, nah, it has, it, it will happen. Yeah. Because, yeah, we might think that it talks, goes back to who we're, like, selling it to or who's, like, like, consuming it. Exactly. It's the youth, dog. Yeah. It's the youth. They're the ones on game. They're, they're the ones walking in the mall and they're like, yo, this shit is whack. Yeah. And they're trying to find some real shit. They're the you know? ones fucking switching, uh, swiping through TikTok. Yeah, fool, they're, the, they're the ones that are up next. Fool, yeah. look, we're about to be 30, whatever. I'm a, we're unks. Fuck you. <laughs> All of a sudden, he's like, I'm not, th- look, I'm not that far behind and shit like that. But they want to hear shit like that. But I'm on some uncle shit now. Now I'm like, now I look at my, my the youngsters, I'm like, yo, like, Fool, uh, if I meet a kid that's 18 years old, I'm going to be like, yo, you're richer than me. He's going to be like, why? I'm like, because, fool, look, you're 18. You got all the time. I can give you all the money I have. I can give you fucking whatever. If I had cars or whatever I give you, I can never buy your age or your time. Yeah, yeah. trade that I shit back. That, we ate that shit all up already, bro. We we went maniacs in this mother, you know? Like, you feel me? I have me? no fucking idea. So bro. the youth is where it's rich at. You just, I think we chase in the rat race type shit. That we forget that the real gold is and the real shit that va- is valuable is time, fool. Hell yeah. Hell so yeah, well. fool, imagine if I if I do an investment <laughs> and I fuck up, I'm not even mad at you, but you fucking waste my time, dog. You disrespectful That's what it motherfucker. Is, yeah. I'll never. That, I, I, get, I get that money back, but yeah, I, well, I ain't gonna get, get that, that time. Back. You could fuck my bitch. You could fucking do all this, but you waste my fucking time, my nigga. Fuck you, fool. Off with his head. Yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna use <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I think he's in there right now. I think he's in there. Alright, we're gonna take a quick little break, y'all. Quick little break. Fuck y'all. 
All right, everybody, welcome back to, to the podcast. We took a little break real quick, you know. A little smoke break. A little smoke me. break. Yo, you know, shout out, Richie LA. needed a break, you know. Buller needed a break. Y'all see it. Hey, man, I'm stressed out, man. But LA I want to go farms. cry in the car for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> All hey. the pain got to him. All the pain got to him. <coughs> no, shout but, out, LA Family Farms. Of, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, is that, that good? shit right there. Is that shit good? Oh shit! Kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> are there? Uh, yeah, I got you. Hold on, shit. Hey, so are there any other like value artists that you're about to make a collab with, or that you want to collab with? So yeah, plenty of them, man. Uh, for sure, my guys, Forever Valley, which uh, consists of my boy. Vice Vic and my family, uh, Jay Nova, man, they're, they're, shh, just just look out for him. We actually were, uh, were interviewing uh, Vice Vic on Saturday. That's yeah. fucking crazy. Saturday night yeah. at the studio. Yeah, so that, that, that's my family right there. Oh, I bet, bet, Shit, bet. pull up. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be LA there. Family Farm sponsored. <laughs> yeah, sponsored by the LA Family Farms. <laughs> Get your farms from the family. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, I, we gonna go crazy with the commercials once they start oh, popping yeah. in. We're we gonna be doing that crazy shit. Gonna be so shit, funny dog. About to be the next uh, Bruce Buffer, dog. The voice. Sheep. You know what's crazy? I never thought about radio, and this was like maybe we could get on radio. No, I didn't no, say he about, said we I are. Didn't say awesome. maybe. Woody, I said awesome we're gonna the, get yeah, on the radio. Yeah, show. Yeah, it's type shit like that. You know, like hey, Brownback did it all day. Brownback did it. Why can't we get? it? Brownback I mean, got shout out Brownback, man. God yeah, damn. why can't we be on the motherfucking radio, bro? You want to hit this know. before you start? Oh, I'm sitting right now. Yeah. You get another tap? Yeah. All right. No, he's not, he's, not he's not done yet. He's not done yet. Oh, okay. Damn, he's almost there. He's almost there. I thought he was like, shh. He's like, another tap? Yeah, I was like, damn. I was like, you know what? Another hour to the podcast. One of those cups would work. A little Dixie cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got one. All right, so uh, Forever uh, Valley, who else you got coming up? Um, I've been working with my boy Superb Beats. Uh, we're working on a tape, and also he's producing most most of my most projects. of my singles. Yeah, most of my projects. Uh, got an ass right here, dog. That was uh, shit. The the whole the whole fucking vibe. I'm trying to fuck with everybody. Hey, anybody who needs. A fucking feature who's got beats and he fucking shit on. Send that shit this way. RichieValley at gmail.com. Shit, I'm, I'm trying to work, man. I'm trying to get back trying to get into to this, this bag, shit. Right? Yeah. ASAP, yeah, y'all. 100%. ASAP. And, we, hey, you, and you see all the people from the Valley, bro, like fucking coming up. I mean, look at the... Just look at when they did. Look at all those heads, bro. Like That was fucking crazy, wow, bro. That shit's still like... I still just think about it to this day and I'm just like, fuck, like... That shit was legendary. Shout out again. Shout out Vani. Shout out all the artists. You know. Valley side. Shout out no gift shop. Shout out no gift shop, bro. Shout out Wanna Smash. Shout out Buller Eats. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the vendors that pulled up. All the up. vendors, fuck, bro. That yeah. shit was so amazing, like. Gang of people, bro. bro. That shit was just like. Yeah, that, that was, was a place to be right there. On that was the like, biggest. And if you saw me there, and I was turned, but uh, but I showed you love. That's because I remember you when I'm drunk. So that means a lot. <laughs> oh my god. And if you got a free plate. There was a couple, there's always a couple, dude. It's me getting mad. But I'm just. No, like, I don't get. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, motherfucker. You're not going to put me on the spot like that. I don't get mad. I don't get mad. No. I, I, I don't mind either. I don't mind him giving up the free plates. I don't give a fuck. At the end of it, it's him giving up the food and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just give it to the right motherfucking people. Nah, man. If I see you hungry, you get that. That's right. You feel me? Like, if you see a homeless guy pass by, by all means, give that fool a baller plate real quick. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. Let no, my boy no, eat. Aw. No, 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 no. I end up just like that for what you want. <laughs> 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 nah, I play with you. Trust me, I got a good heart. You know what's why? <laughs> now, I'm telling you, look. I was at To Live and Die in LA. Big ass fucking uh, LA like thing. You know, festival. I was fucking under the 6th Street set or whatever that bridge is. Right there next to Boyle Heights and East LA. Um, we were under it while I was getting constructed, bro. Crazy. So we're cooking under the fucking bridge. And I just gave a little kid a Snapple because he reminded me of my kids. You know, and I feel like I was telling his mom he was thirsty. But she was like probably trying to get to where she was going. And I was like, yo, here. And I gave him like a, a Snapple. Bro, his parents pull up back. His, his dad, big ass, look, active looking motherfucker. 
He's like, you gave a drink to my son? I was like, yeah. I was like, you just reminded me of my kids. Boom, full of fucking. Oh, shit. They buy like my fucking three, three, four plates off me. Just off that. Just off me showing love to him. And he, like, in my head, I didn't do it because of that. Yeah, yeah. I did it because it reminded me of my kids. You know, like, I'm working. You know, I always think about my kids when I'm working. Yeah. And, like, I see a little homie. And I was like, you know what? Hey, shit comes, shit comes back around tenfold, oh, no, dog. Hell yeah, bro. Hell when you yeah. when you do it out of the kindness of your heart, like that shit will come right back around. Trip out. We, we was talking about uh, New York, uh, the New York trip. Shit, I went to New York, New York, uh, two years ago. I fucking I hit the street. I was just hitting the street vendors. Oh, I, lo, lo, low key, I was just talking to all the locals. Like, where can I go get some good food, right? So. Uh, a lot of street vendors. Most most of the locals told me like it wasn't even restaurants. It was it was a couple of restaurants, but mostly it was it was street vendors and delis. Okay. So I hit this uh, this Greek street vendor, and um, I gave him I gave him a fat ass tip, bro, for like you know just a, a regular a regular a, a, a serving of, mm-hmm. of you know, and then I. So I tip him, and what I just tipped him, I turn around and I find that shit on the floor. That's Damn! Crazy. Like I just fucking tip this food twenty dollars. Turn around, twenty dollars on the Double fucking on the floor, floor, dog. Like literally, like a step. Yeah. I just I just turn around. There's this what I just gave him on, right back at me. Yeah, fast. And I get I get back to the room. That shit was the best food I had out there the whole trip. That was the best shit I had to eat out there. I went to plenty of delis, pizza spots, all that. The Greek food that that I had from that vendor was the the best the best food I had. I was only out there for three four days though. I did what thirty nine hours there once. Crazy. The water and the bread in New York for sure different, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I was eating bacon. Yeah, the bread, the bread and the water, bagels, rolls, all that shit. I was fucking eating a bacon and cheese, Lower Manhattan, next to Grand Central Park at 7 in the morning, fucking freezing my ass off. And it's crazy because I be looking up to the buildings, I'm like, it's wild. Like, you think you, you, you know what a city is? Nah, bro, New York will show you that. You go to downtown, you see the buildings, you think it's high? Psh, nothing, bro. Let you tell it in New York coming Psh, soon. I know, hey, shout out Jelani, shout out the homies in New York, man. I know, we go to any borough, we be straight. ASAP, ASAP. You know, we got we know a lot of people everywhere. That's right. <laughs> Shout out to all the good oh, yeah. people in New York, though, because they really like showed me a good time, bro. Like no, it was no just, doubt. you know, I feel it's like a, it's a whole different vibe. It's I a was, whole I different. I felt like a fucking star out there. They just show so much love. Like I was telling you, we was FaceTiming my kid, like in the in the bar, like at two, three in the morning over there, and then over here is a whole different time. <laughs> before uh, before we start wrapping up, I had a question because um, like. On uh, on Sunday, it was my first time seeing you ever perform, and you had the crowd turn. Even for you being the first person to perform, you had the crowd like you, you know how to interact with the crowd. How is it when you're starting to perform? Like, do you get any type of like nervous or anything like that? Uh, always, always nerves, especially since I hadn't performed for. Uh, I just been doing a couple like I just been doing a group of open mics the, mm-hmm. the past like two years just. Mainly open mics, not really showcases. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's always nerves when when you got um, when it's more planned, you know, when it's when you got people showing up and you know certain people are gonna be there. So it definitely. But once once the beat drops, like once you're there, it, that all that shit just kind of goes away and just zone. Muscle memory, muscle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You, you just it, it's just like. You hopping off a fucking nine stair, you know? You just jump <laughs> off that bitch. I feel you. That day, like, I, did, I did not want to do that shit. He kept telling me to do it. He was like, hey, you got to go. And I was like, because we were hungover? He's like, man, nah. I was like, I'll just go kick it. He's like, fool, you show up, but you don't make no food? You don't make no food, bro? Nah, what, he, it, what, it, what it, nah, like, he's that like, what do you weekend, mean? That whole weekend, he was trying to make an excuse because he had to cook on Friday. He's like, bro, I don't want to cook. <laughs> That and I'm like, bro, just do it. And then he tried to make an excuse like, fuck, bro, like they don't take a card at the place where I get my meat. How's it, how much is your meat? 
Oh, I need this much. Here, fool, just pay me back. I know, like, so you got, I was like, you know? And then the same every shit. Every excuse on, that I was on, trying to do. On Sunday, this fool comes to my house early to start prepping. Because I let him use my stove and shit. And then he's like, damn, fool, I don't want to prep. I don't want to. I'm like, fool, just do it. <laughs> then he goes Bam. like, nah, fool, because I don't even have the vendor fee to pay. I was like, how much is it? Oh, it's, it's so-and-so. Here, fool, and just pay me back when you fucking sell your plates. Fool, it's just like, come on, dog. Like, every excuse going, I was yeah, hell yeah. He pushed me to get it moving. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, like, That's right. Like, it's like I said. It's like I said it. If you don't make that money, dog, somebody else is, and they're not gonna give you a piece of that shit, bro. But I feel like a performance is you as well, though. You know, like I'd be like, damn, like even if I'm cooking, I feel like I'm performing, especially yeah. when I cook in front of people. Yeah, which is kind of weird, you know. But it actually, was a performance, though. I feel like, but it brings me back to like what you're saying. Like you just hop off, like. What else are you gonna do? You locked in. You're, you're, you're literally locked in. Like you're, you're interact. You're selling something. You know, at For the sure. same at the same time that you're cooking is some type of. Especially when you're like, I feel. I mean, I'm 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 no chef or nothing, but I feel there's a certain like you're you're cooking in front of people. You're it's a presentation. You know, you don't want to be sloppy with it. You you're, you're making it look good for them. Like making it look easy because yeah. cooking and talking is a very hard thing. I bet you know. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. So I, that's why I feel like it's a performance as well. I'm like, damn. Yeah. It's art porn. Yeah, like you seen those fools at the fucking uh, Benny Hanna's and shit doing the yeah, tricks and, and shit. And I never, I never worked at a motherfucking uh, oh, at a, a bocce spot ever, bro. I just fucking. I cooked in the inside the inside of the fucking uh, inside the kitchen for like ten years, and then um, I was like, man, what? My kids were born in twenty twenty. I was like, fuck, I gotta do some shit. And then the I, pandemic. That's yeah, and I was like, damn, I had a little a little grill type shit. I'm like, man, should I start cooking? And people be like, do it, do it, do it. Bam, we start doing it. Crazy, bro. I'm like that shit was I, success right off the bat, bro. Yeah, watching. What I was trying to get to, since I'm fucking high as fuck now, is that I just <laughs> never worked at a bocce spot, and I just looked up on YouTube like couple like basic ingredients, and then from there I did that shit. It probably sucked, and then I don't know why, and people fucked with it or whatever. <laughs> that's in my head, right? Yeah. And but then, that's because people fuck with you. That's why. Yeah. That's yeah, that's like that's the that's a, the a, that's part of the recipe yeah, for sure. Right you know, for whatever you yeah. whatever you yeah. you put your name on, whether it would have been hibachi or it would have been fucking tacos or it would have been, you know, yeah. it's because they fuck with you, yeah. and they're they're gonna that's, support it. Yeah, 100%. and that's 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 why I feel like a lot of a lot of people don't understand. Like part of the recipe is like you gotta be a, a solid like just doing. The way genuine, you the way you yeah, move, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah, it's it's just all about good business. Yeah, when you yeah. when you when you have a a good reputation, facts, and a good uh, just the way you move is just very reputable. Whatever yeah, kind of yeah, business yeah, you do, sure. you have a face card, solid. Right? Yeah, yeah, face card. There you go. That's yeah, the word. Yeah, face card. Hundred percent. It's like whatever you do, whether it's yeah, shirts yeah. or fucking, yeah. you want to put it on food yeah. or they're gonna fuck with it. They're gonna yeah, buy it because they want to support. It's crazy because we were talking about creating content and stuff, and I feel like content nowadays is like. You gotta be quick. It has to be like short because the attention span is like. It's getting, but like yeah, hey, we just we scrolling, you know. But it's, it, it 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 goes back to what he said. You gotta package it right. See who you're packaging it to, you know. So yeah. Whoever supports, I mean, the genuine support is dope. I never try to force it. You feel me? I feel like uh, I, I used to like send like DMs to people like about my food stuff. And I was like, why am I doing this? Like, I'm just going to continue just posting my own stuff. And whoever wants to come and fuck with it, they fuck with it. No, no doubt on that. No doubt. <laughs> this fool's high as fuck right now. <laughs> 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 All right, we're going to start wrapping it up right now. Before yeah, we wrap it up, yeah. is there a shout out you want to be giving out right now? Shit, man. Shout out to the old fucking Valley. I mean, everybody doing their thing, you know. Shout out to Demented tattoos yep, shout you out to my boy sure. eels yep, eels for in the, fucking in the cut you know in the cut doing this thing cut. while i'm oh, over here fucking said. moving <laughs> moving around and shit still look at them lines still crispy as fuck while I'm over we'll, get, here. we'll get a close-up of that later <laughs> 
Yeah, You'll man. See shout, it right out, here. shout out to Demented. Shout out to Eel. Shout out to uh, Johnny Ruthless. You know, check them all out. Fucking amazing group of artists they got over here. Shout out to uh, Let You Tell It podcast for having me on here, you know. Fucking letting me tell a little bit of my story. Shit, man. I'm just excited for what's what's coming in the future, dog. Because this, this this is just the beginning. You know? Ain't nobody, That's what's crazy. Nobody's you saw ready, how fast dog. it grew. So. Y'all, y'all ain't ready for what it. the fuck's coming out. Really that right, shit. Man. If y'all weren't there for A1A Day and you guys see the recap, the recap does no justice mm-hmm. on how fucking great it was. Again, shout out Richie for coming onto the pod, bro. We fucking appreciate it, man. Appreciate and, you, you guys. Know, appreciate, uh, shout out to the whole valley. You know, We're going to keep this shit going for everybody. At the end of it, whether you, f- you fuck with us or not, we here. Ain't none of us going anywhere, dog. We, A lot of games. We here shit. to stay. <laughs> Again, thank you, Richie, for coming on to the pod, bro, telling your story. We appreciate it. You guys, make sure you guys go stream his his new track out with Wani Ocho right now on all platforms. We'll go ahead and link it at the bottom. Uh, You guys, go ahead and follow him on Instagram at Richie from the Valley. Yes, sir. Uh, Again, you know, just you guys have a good one. I'm your host, Caesar. It's your boy Buller. And we out this bitch. Shout out yes, LA sir. Family Farms. Ocho shit. Fucking Ocho ass. shit. We out, bitch. Interview, I'm trying to get down with you. I need an interview, I'm trying to get down with you. I need an interview, I'm trying to get down with you. Get down with you. Get down with you. I need an interview, I'm trying to get down with you. I need an interview, I'm trying to get down with you. I need an interview, I'm trying to get down with you. Yeah. Get down with you. Yeah. Get down with you. Come on.